Hey, it's Neoflight, and I'm just so excited today because map creator Dan Robs Probs is making his marketplace debut with a map of his called Combine. Now, this is a map he released, oh, a while ago. I discovered it about a year ago and um, played it all the way to the end. I, I beat it. Um, it's, it's a great map. It makes use of some unique concepts. So I'm, I'm getting on the micro marketplace today to buy this map and start a world. And I don't know, maybe it could turn into a let's play. I, I don't know if anybody's interested in that, but uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, lend some support to Dan for his new map on the marketplace. Uh, and, and yeah, so anyway, I've bought it. I'm going to start a world here. I'm just going to keep the settings at default and, um, Go from there and I remember so combine makes use of uh, of a, a, a strategy or a, um, a method of gameplay where you take objects and you throw them on the ground and they uh, through the commands the magic of commands become a new item I think they used to call it floor crafting uh, I know that Dan and uh, squidgy face plays were kind of uh, you know using this idea to create custom maps. So I'm gonna demonstrate it here. I'll throw this bowl down and this mushroom. Uh, and so Dan's created kind of this tutorial in the beginning. If you just read it and go through it, you see uh, you can practice. This is how floor crafting works or um, in this book, he's calling it combining. So we're combi combining different items and he's uh, created this recipe book for you to go through. Uh, and it's pretty long, 14 pages and books, even though, you know, it's nice that we can put text in a, in a game, but books are just, they're really not fun to format. And you can see he's gone to great lengths here to try to separate the different recipes so you can see them. We've got, uh, like a violet and then a darker blue and a gold and blue and red and green to keep the recipe separate so uh, it's easier to read. And I don't know if I like the colors better or his original method, which was to use like a, I think it was a blue and then he had maybe like some separator dashes um, and, then, and then the next line with the uh, items that it combined. I, this makes sense to me and it's a it's a tough thing to try to work around but and to keep it shorter because he did it within 14 pages versus many many more pages but um, yeah uh, so you walk through here and you end up on a small little platform of clay in this one originally uh, his first map you ended up on a, a mushroom block with some grass growing on it and uh, that was really a challenge because you had to somehow mine up this mushroom bro block without falling into the void. It was interesting. Um, so this one is, this is really cool too. I like, I like using the clay and how the clay just regenerates. It also gives some more options for uh, early gameplay. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to mine a bunch of clay. And when I have, you know, like a hot bar full of it, and I'm ready to do some combining, I'll come back to you and uh, show you my progress. Okay, so I've mined up some clay. I'm gonna make some clay blocks here. Oh, and there's a status update. This will challenge you. This will be a challenge. Are you up for it? Okay. So I, I'm making some clay blocks because I'm going to expand my platform a little bit. And um, and then I have some room because you're throwing things on the ground. You don't want to do it in a really tight, confined area. And I can see that I need clay plus a clay block will equal gravel. So that's one of my very first goals. And I'm going to try to actually uh, get several things of gravel. Um, but I'm going to make this platform a little bit bigger and then I'm going to continue mining up some clay and get back to you after that. Okay, I've gathered enough resources to uh, try some combining here. So I'll throw down a couple items and there I go. I have some gravel. I'm going to do that a few times uh, just to, to get a store of it. That way I don't have to return back uh, after a bit. Um, 
So yeah, I tried to get several, uh, but I'll pick them up here in a moment because I have a feeling that uh, like the initial when I, I crafted the clay block, I, I bet Dan's got a message once we pick this up. So um, yeah, just let's get a few of these here and um, then I'll pick them up. A lot of these resources at the beginning are, uh, they're going to be kind of the basis for everything in the future. Okay, let's see what happens when I pick this up. <laughs> yep. Trying to get some flint from this gravel. Remember, flint is sharp. Uh, so he's given some hints about what to do next. And so I have uh, a few resources here. So I'm just going to keep getting some gravel here until I have a store of it. And then um, I'll get back to you after that. Put my gravel in a tall tower and I've been mining up the gravel to get flint. I know that the next combined item that I need will be flint. And I'm almost back to the platform. And uh, yep, there's my fence post. So I don't want to go further than that. Looks like I got nine pieces. And I'm going to take a look at the book here. Um, I remember that. So flint and clay blocks equals sand. And let's see. There's the, oh, the flint and the oak fence is a unique tool. So I think that's what I'll go for next is that unique tool. All right, so the book says I'm going to need the this oak fence post. Okay, another message from Dan. You can get a choice of two unique types of tools using this, okay? It will certainly help speed things up. All right, well, I'm going to take out, take down all four of these fence posts. Um, because I imagine they come at random, or they did in the video that Dan showed, so... Okay, so let's combine these. We'll take our flint and a fence post. And I got a tool. I got a flint collector. Uh, Fortune 3, efficiency 2. All right, so that will help gather flint, which I imagine will be quite handy in the future. So let's try again. And I have another flint collector. Okay, well that's not quite as useful. I still have two more fences, so we'll keep going. And a third flint collector. Okay, now I'm starting to feel a little worried. I only have one more chance at getting whatever the second unique tool is. And this time I got a mushroom block collector. Silk touch one in fortune three. Okay, so that works out really well. Um, now that I have the, how does Silk Touch work with Fortune 3? That doesn't seem like they would work together at all. Like Silk Touch keeps the block from breaking. Okay, so I'm going to take my sand and uh, combine that to get um, another resource. Bone meal. Okay, so I'm just going to gather some of this bone meal up. I imagine bone meal is going to come in handy uh, in a number of ways in the future. All right, so I've gathered bone meal. Now I'm going to try the next one, which is the concrete powder. And yeah, gather up some of this. Oops. <laughs> Uh, if you accidentally throw the wrong two things, you're gonna, you're gonna get something different. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I want to try to make a mushroom block. I believe it's a clay block and some bone meal. And there we have a brown mushroom block. So I'll make a couple of those. And what? Podzel. Okay. That was unexpected. So I looked through the book. I had to look for a while. And the last, second to last page you can see in purple. Mushroom and clay block equals Podzel. Uh, I almost missed it. I, I thought 
that's weird. It must be a glitch, but it took a while and I found it at the end of the book. Uh, anyway, that seems to be a good way to end the episode. And if you want to see more of this in the future, uh, if you want it to be a, a regular series, let me know. And if it's popular enough, I'll keep it going. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye now.